Now, for your viewers, let them know who you are and who are the faces behind Afro Who. Well, in the, on the first place, we're just very good friends and yeah. we started dancing when we met, we were dancing and when uh, we found out that we have mutual passion, we started traveling together, we even lived together, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, we started like, like five, six years ago and we just, we've been dan dancing other things, not African styles and just at some moments, We've heard some songs and we're all like, whoa, the beat is so lively, so nice. Mm -hmm. We started our research because basically it was just us interested into that. There were no supporters, so we had to stick yes. to each other. There was no other option. <laughs> yeah, and then slowly we traveled. This was fun, but when we came back to the country, there was nothing here. So like, yeah, uh, we can't leave from one trip to another yeah. trip. We need to start doing something here. Like trying to make this culture grow, develop for people to know it, to attract some new students, followers. So we had to just put it on our shoulders. We didn't have much option. And then we found out uh, that actually there are a lot of people, Africans living here, except, uh, I mean, uh, in Moscow, uh, where we live at the moment. And uh, there are a lot of parties and culture. That we parted like. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but now we all it was like many years ago, but it was such a great time. Just yes. so it that's was how we, how dancing we just for everything. having fun, just because you like the music, you like parties, you like people, you go, you have fun, you go crazy, and all that. only after that it slowly came into a professional way for us. Yeah, but came from passion. Uh, not like we try try to earn or something. No. Yeah, no, like no, Afro. There is no Afro in Russia. Let's uh, bring Afro. Like let's earn it's money. Not this and no, yeah. never. We started uh, teaching for free. I, even it was more for us, like to practice more because as to learn faster, talk, not to go, not to, to practice. From one, yes, to practice. Uh, we share. We practice at the same time. So yeah, it's like let's get together people let's get like 15 10 people together it will be we'll teach you some moves and teach nice you what we know say. and just yeah, yeah you free to just let go ask us uh what we learned from the travelers tra traveling Tra trips and then there's one moment yeah. we realized that for the three of us to go abroad for like to take usually privates private yeah. workshops not even workshops because mm -hmm. like five six years ago there were not that many camps to attend to like you pay 80 100 150 whatever euro and go everything organized now it never existed five, five years ago so we were just linking up with different dancers some of them but that by that moment they were not Even yet teaching. good at teaching yes. language yes. barrier it was a struggle at some moment we understood like for us three of us traveling it's like a lot of money <laughs> two held in europe per person wow. yeah with our workshops you pay tickets every time, uh, food hotel everything classes. We decided, like, let's try to bring people here. Maybe it will, will be, like, yeah, less expensive, less expensive <laughs> for us. And, again, some other people can enjoy what we're doing and learn from originators. Because learning from white people, I mean, we can pass some information that we know, but still, it's not our culture. We know something, but, yeah, still, it's better to learn from a person who's been born with it and who is, like, a professional teacher, professional dancer. He has it in his body in his mind, in like mm -hmm. everywhere, so and people picked up uh, very fast from there because yeah. they see, they copy very fast mm -hmm. and sometimes we can explain, uh, we can count, uh, they show the moves in like m details and they still they can make it technically, but they can't pick up the, the feeling, group, the manner. Yes, yes. they so need these people. It's better to see these people and like from the first source. Like, first source. Yeah. yeah. Now, any ideas of expanding? I mean, we see that. That's the end. <laughs> <laughs> now, actually, they had a plan like to make camps and stuff and stuff, but you know, for now we need to, to rest yes, for sure. We take a break. And then maybe, maybe. Because we don't have any sponsorship, else. we don't yeah. have uh, anything, like everything is organized, just three of us, we're girls with families, with our own needs, and like sometimes it's working good, sometimes it's not working mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. So it's hard, and yeah, we decided like without. Uh, huge supports like we should just take a little break to step back to breathe maybe yes. to get some to get some inspiration yes, because we, sometimes we can't stop ourselves <laughs> you know 
she started talking, she had an idea, we mix it again <laughs> and it's growing, growing. And you know, when an idea comes to your head, you, you just cannot keep it to yourself. You're so excited, like, girls, mm-hmm. girls, please. <laughs> Start asking people, yeah. <laughs> asking I'm free on this date, it's so free, free, you know? Yeah, so this time we just said, like, no, 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 we, we finish and just... Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Maybe at rest. least for a couple of months. But we have our bigger one family, year, international year. family, <laughs> yes. that's already like excited every time seeing our events, and they already like texting us like, girls, we need to do something big together, like yeah, expanding yeah. on international level. Yes. So we don't know. The thing is like we are good with organization for five years, five yeah, almost five years that mm-hmm. we've been doing it. We already know. How, how it was supposed to be and like Afroboom it has a certain concept it's not just uh, you know workshops when you bring 20, 50 whatever amounts of people and it's just for fun and all the rest so mm-hmm. here with Russia it's a little bit more complicated because we need more knowledge we need more sharing more history background details and particular structure yeah and, and the whole event Russian, Russian people they're very um, how do you say greedy for knowledge, for information, mm-hmm. they want to know. They they don't want just to dance. They want mm-hmm. they want to know what what's after the, what's behind behind it. What's behind it? Yeah. So with Afroboom, when we started from the very beginning, uh, we had an idea that we're bringing instructors not to give just one workshop. That it is supposed to be some message through every event event that a teacher is trying to show himself, show his skills. Not just one workshop, because again. Even for instructors to give just one workshop to go so yeah. far, <laughs> to go so far, to do so much, and for the visa. <laughs> yeah, first uh, and second, yeah, like so much information he can give just one. He can't give yeah. just one hour. It's not enough to express himself, even to show. Yeah, that's me. That's my knowledge. That that's my choreography, my technique. Like people need more time for and that's sharing. Why this. they open up so much, even. Nobody leave crying without crying yeah. on this event. <laughs> and sometimes people come to Russia like instructors. They scared. They scared because they know Russia is a white country, and that they might not be uh, taken that friendly here. That that will be some hostile or why like Russia? Why I'm going to Russia to teach Afro? Okay, whatever. They invited me. They paying money. I go. But when they come. And if they see this atmosphere and everything, like, I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. People, when I'm coming again next, please. Everyone, not a single person left without this word saying, like, people, I'm ready to come again. Mm-hmm. It, is, it is, like, amazing here. So, yeah. So, in closing, obviously, this is an annual event. What do you look forward to? I mean, seeing, that, seeing how successful this was, this whole week, what do you look forward to to next year's event? <laughs> no, next one. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, as I said before, <laughs> uh, we just need to uh, rest. And I won't be modest. I will tell that I think we raised the pe- uh, people who yeah. really want to get information and to learn. And I think now they they can do it. They can ask uh, teachers online. They can go abroad. Uh, everything in their hands for now. For yeah. for us, we need a little break. I mean, <laughs> so even this is the last. The last. Yes. Brilliant. That's the last. <laughs> yeah, you found People this don't believe it. Late. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. We still there. People don't still believe it. Group, Students don't know, believe it. Instructors don't believe it. Yeah. Our friends don't believe it. Like, no, you can't quit. We say, why? We can. We have life. We don't owe anything to people. But people don't owe anything to us. We no. need space. Yeah, Again, we, just, we don't tell it like for sure that's, that's it forever. Bye bye. No. We say we need a break. Maybe we'll yeah, come with some yeah. idea in. Talk later. Later. <laughs> <laughs> later, later. Inspiration because but this uh, mood that we have, it's really like, just don't ask <laughs> us anymore. Because yeah, about the students, I also agree that uh, it's um, they all are so um, responsible already. Yeah. Some of them, they are. And very you see growth. You yes. see such a big growth for this all editions. So they understand already how it works, what they need to do, and they understand what they like because there are so much, and we show them so much. Yeah, it's so all these years. Rich. The culture is so rich. Like so, you can mm-hmm. choose what is more close to you mm-hmm. with the music, with the dance style, with like countries and. Yes. Again, five years ago, um, there was not many events, there was not many teachers. Right now, the culture is very 
uh, very popular, it's on hype. So mm -hmm. it's like much easier to get information to travel. So if you want, mm -hmm. you'll find a chance, even if we quit. Yeah. We believe mm -hmm. that uh, things won't die here in Russia. People yes. will continue. Some other people, some new generation mm -hmm. will come and will continue. We support, we help. But for now, break. <laughs> <laughs> With organization. But yeah. our group is you know, yeah. still there. Ah, still no matter going. where we are, like we can go to different yeah. countries, but still don't be girls live forever. Yeah, yeah it's, don't, we don't it's, it's the more stage, just, no. it's more than the dan it's more than dancing, it's more than organizing, it's like it's a family. Yes. So to go th together through what we've been, like it's lifelong, <laughs> lifelong story. Wow.